Okay, so in this tutorial, I will be doing parametric sweep of this 65 nanometer CMOS inverter, and uh, we can do it as follows. So you have defined this as dot from, and the only thing that you have to include now is dot step. So dot step we can use for uh, stepping parameters or even voltage sources. So dot step from the parameter I want to sweep is WP, the width of uh, PMOS transistor and well I can use list as I did previously or I can give the initial value final value and the increment so I'm using list here and I will be doing it for 130 nanometer I mean I'm putting the width same as that of NMOS and then say 260 nanometer and 360 nanometer let us see what happens uh, with this dot step. So let's hit the, hit the simulation and you can see that this curve is one is for 130 nanometer, other one is for 260 nanometer, and third one is 360 nanometer. So you can see that you are basically changing the width of PMOS or you are basically varying WP by WN. Yeah, because WN is fixed at 130 nanometer, so you are basically varying the width of PMOS, so you are basically varying the ratio, right? Now, one thing I don't know which one is 130 nanometer and which one is for 360 nanometer and which one is for 260 nanometer. So, if you go to your tools, color preferences, and you see the order, right? So, voltage source 1 have this color, voltage source 2 have this color voltage source 3 has this color and so on right so you can see this order huh? this is for the first one that is 130 nanometer this one is corresponding to 130 nanometer WP this one is for WP is equal to 260 nanometer and this one is for 360 nanometer so this kind of analysis is called parametric sweep we are basically in, 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 in instead of I mean varying sorry in, in place of varying uh, we are we are basically varying uh, a particular parameter of your design along with the this DC input voltage right so this completes the parametric sweep so we have already done uh, simple parametric sweep and mm, Two variables sweep. One is for dot DC here. We are varying V in as well as some parameter. And uh, well, this completes the DC analysis. And then we will move to transient analysis, where whenever you have actually voltage signals like time varying voltage signals like sine wave, pulse, and PWL, you perform the transient analysis. I will introduce all these things in the next tutorial. Thank you.